Podcast, News 18, weather from where you live. A lot of low clouds out there today, but there is, a, is some clearing in Illinois and eventually we'll get in on some of this tonight, but it's going to be a lengthy process. I still think they'll at least be partly cloudy skies even for late tonight. So temperature is kind of leveling off to around 21 for the low. A few places will drop into the upper teens. We'll be already down to 25 by 7 p.m. This is going to be a big East Coast storm with heavy snow for the Northeast. And as this storm develops and moves up the Eastern seaboard, what it will do with this clipper is kind of push it a little bit west. So it'll kind of back everything up some. So I think the main area of accumulating snow of one to three inches is going to be Des Moines through St. Louis and Southern Illinois, just west and southwest of our area. Now we'll still get a few snow showers and flurries out of that. But again, if you're looking for accumulating snow, you'll have to go west and southwest. So still a few flurries, some patchy light snow late tomorrow, tomorrow night, perhaps even a few flurries on Thanksgiving. If there is any accumulation, It'd just be a patchy dusting here and there, well below one inch. Cold Thanksgiving, but boy, does it warm up for the weekend, and especially next week with a spring-like pattern with rain and storms and a lot of wind and perhaps another one to two inch rain by the middle part of next week. Tonight, though, best chance of teens would be in our far west and southwest counties where the clearing may be maximized. So 18 Kingman, 19 Attica, but around 21 Lafayette, 20 Burlington, 22 at Peru and tomorrow 34 Rochester, but 38 in Lafayette and Williamsport, 40 at Covington and Ladoga, and about 36 at Burlington. Now, uh, once we get into Thanksgiving, a pretty cold day, upper 20s to low 30s, including 30 at Lafayette, 29 at Delphi, as well as Burlington. High risk future cast product. Again, some clearing tonight. We may go mostly sunny very early tomorrow for part of the area, but just as quickly as it starts to clear out, more clouds come back in by tomorrow afternoon. And even though this particular model keeps everything, no precip at all around here, late tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, I still think there will be a few flurries and a little patchy light snow around. But again, the main data is suggesting one to three inch snows in Illinois and southward into western Kentucky, and then as far north as Iowa and the Dakotas. And then we start to clear things out a little bit. I think for Thanksgiving Day, Partly cloudy, couple flurries around and colder before clouds start to increase on Thursday night. Now, by late in the weekend, a little warm front will be just south of our area. So we'll get a few scattered showers Sunday and Monday. This little front will just barely skim by it. So actually, it'll cool off a little bit Monday and then warm up big time Tuesday, Wednesday as a strong storm system approaches. It'll bring a lot of wind, rain, and storms. Check out the warm up though. 50 Saturday, 50 Sunday, a few showers. Now, there's that little cool down I alluded to. 45 Monday, but 56 Tuesday. And I tell you, by Wednesday, a few places could be up around 60, 61 degrees with a lot of wind and unfortunately, a lot of rain too in the forecast. So oh, Thanksgiving Day though looks like a great day to be inside, it right? It would be perfect <laughs> for that 30. And then you look forward to the big warm up. Yep. So, all right. Thanks, Chet. Sure. Well, just ahead with the holidays approaching, many people will be starting their New Year's diet.